Now the second time, second part of that is time off. These are for the days that the employee employees can absolutely not work. So you can see exactly who's requesting it, the time off, the amount of time off they've requested, any comments they've made, as well as how much time they've already taken off this year. You can approve or decline. Now the difference between time off and availability is that time off is trackable in a report. So you can pull that report by employee and see how much time off they've taken that year. So within time off, you can check for possible conflicts. This day does not conflict with a previously approved time off, but if it did, it would pull up a list of all the employees who already have that day approved off. And then approve or decline. And again, the text box will appear for you to leave a message for the employee if you need to. You also have a view month chart within time off. Let's flip back to a different month here. So the green is approved and the black is pending. And employees also have access to view this time off chart. So that's helpful for if they're looking for somebody to cover their shift, they can reference the time off and see who might be available to take it. 